So today we're going to take a look at depositing and withdrawing your cryptocurrencies from Binance. Let's get straight into it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you find today's video educational and useful. If you do, hit that subscribe button below and the little notification bell and you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. And so today we're looking at Binance and in particular depositing and withdrawing your cryptocurrencies into the exchange. Now it's a pretty straightforward process, but if you have never done it before, it might seem a little daunting. So hopefully today's video takes away some of that anxiety. So let's get started by heading straight over to the Binance website. So this is at the Binance website, and this is what it looks like when you first arrive there. Now I'm going to presume that you already have a Binance account. If you haven't, there's a referral link in the description. I'd very much appreciate it if you used it. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to assume that you've already created your account. So the next step is head on over to funds, click on deposits. So for this tutorial, we're going to use Bitcoin. And if it doesn't show up automatically, you just click here on the box, type in BTC, select Bitcoin, and this is your deposit address. And this is what you will use to send Bitcoin to Binance. Now the safest way to do this is click copy address and that will copy the BTC deposit address for you. I have seen some people copying and pasting and that can be a little bit dangerous because if you miss a little bit of this address out, your Bitcoin is never going to arrive. So the safest thing to do is just click copy address. It'll show you that it's been successful. Now the next step on this process is to go to wherever you purchased your Bitcoin. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to use Coinbase, mainly because I think a lot of people start off with Coinbase and it is probably the most popular place to buy your Bitcoins. So the next step in the process is to go to accounts. This will take you to your different wallets here. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to be going to our Bitcoin address, obviously. Click on send. And this is where you enter the Bitcoin address that you copied earlier. And the simplest way to do this is to right click and paste. Now, what I usually do is I double check the first two or three numbers or letters and the last two or three numbers or letters. So I go back to Binance. I double check that the address is correct. And then I enter the amount I want to send. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to send 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is just under five pounds. Click continue. It didn't ask you to enter the two-step verification. Click confirm. And you should receive a notification like that. So after that, it's just a matter of waiting for the transaction to show up on Binance. Now, Bitcoin can be a bit slow to transfer, so it won't show up straight away. But if you've gone through the process correctly, it will eventually show up. Now, if you want to withdraw from Binance, it's a very similar process. We go to withdrawals, select the token you want to withdraw. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will stick with our Bitcoin. So type in BTC, select your Bitcoin, essentially the exact same process as before. Only this time, you are going to use your Coinbase address. So we head back over to Coinbase, and rather than send this time, we click the Receive button. 
show address and that will give you the wallet address that you need to use in Binance. So like before, click the copy button, go back into Binance, right click and paste your address in there. And then in this box here, you just type in how much you want to withdraw. So for example, 0 0.001. Show you the transaction fee and how much you will receive. Now that you've withdrawn your Bitcoin, it will eventually show up in Coinbase after a short period of time. So that's how you deposit your Bitcoin and withdraw your Bitcoin from Binance. It might seem a little bit daunting at the beginning, but if you double check everything, you should be fine. Remember, double check your address. Make sure you're sending your Bitcoin to the correct address. I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, hit the like button. You can leave me a comment below also. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.